Hey everyone, this is Dylan, and today is my DVD and Blu-ray update video for October 2017. I hope you guys had a great Halloween. Uh, it is currently Halloween. I'm filming this on Halloween, but I probably won't be able to post it until tomorrow. So I hope that you guys did have a good Halloween. So I've got not as many things as I usually get or that I've gotten the past couple months, but I have a decent amount and I have some pretty cool things to show you guys. So to start off with, I got this, uh, so this is Coma and it was a television miniseries and I believe it was on A&E and it's got Lauren Ambrose in it, Gina Davis, and uh, what's her name? Ellen Burstyn. And it is essentially about a medical student who realizes that things are going kind of weird. So otherwise healthy people are coming out of surgery in this comatose state and they're sent to this clinic and things start are just kind of fishy about it. So uh, Lauren Ambrose character works and trying to figure out what is going on. And I remember when this came out, this is a, it was executive produced by Ridley Scott and Tony Scott. And I want to say that it was Tony, but this was his last movie he had ever made before he tragically died. Well, the last thing that he produced before he tragically died. And then we have, so I got that, um, I didn't mention, but I got this at Big Lots and it was only $3. Uh, so then the next thing I got is from Dollar General. And I just happened to be there looking for Halloween movies. And I saw this and I was like, you know what? And I think it was only like $3. I think it was $2.99. But this is season one, volume two of Make It or Break It from ABC Family. So I've never watched this show, but I do kind of have a little bit of an obsession with the Olympics and the whole premise of the show, as far as I know, are that these girls or girls are like Olympic hopefuls and the whole point of this is kind of following them on their way to try to be in the Olympics. So I thought that that was pretty cool, and I look forward to at least giving it a shot. And then I have three parts of the series. I don't have the first one, but I have more to add to my Pokemon collection. This is Pokemon Black and White Set 2. Um, I had sold a couple movies, or I had sold the Pokemon movies that I had that I had... Uh, wanted to sell over the my fall break and I used the money that I got on those to buy these so then this is black and white Pokemon black and white set three so I was like you know what I'm just gonna do this and get it they are releasing um, the first season of Pokemon so the first 52 episodes on Blu-ray soon, but the price is just too much, and I would prefer not to pay that, so either I'm going to wait until it goes down or not buy it at all, considering I already have, I have the Complete Indigo League, which has the full, I think it's 82 episodes? No, I think it's 78, actually. Um, anyway, I have this, this is Pokemon Black and White set 4. Uh, this is about the point where I know nothing about Pokemon. Um, I know Pokemon from Generation 3, and then after Generation 3, I don't really know any until XY and XYZ, and then Sun and Moon. That's where I kind of, so four, five, and six are kind of, well, maybe, maybe not six, but four and five are kind of, kind of iffy for me. 
I was on eBay just looking around one day, and I had seen this like promotional item, and I was like, you know what, I think I'm going to buy it, and so they had the promotional item, but then they also had a promotional item from the second season of the show, so I decided I was going to do that because it was cheaper than just buying the promotional item from the third movie or show. So this is a for your Emmy consideration of Schitt's Creek season three. So I thought that this was really cool. I ended up, I actually really love this show. And if you've not watched it, you should definitely give it a shot. I believe that it's on Netflix, so you can give it a watch. This one, this box comes with actually I'll just take it out so this is the inside of the box and then what was in this little cutout was a Schitt's Creek like uh, keychain and jump drive so this is supposed to look like a motel key because in the show the characters live in a motel and then we have the jump drive. That was the main reason that I bought this was I wanted this jump drive and this keychain. Uh, I think I paid like $14 for it. Uh, it did not say how many gigabytes the jump drive was and whenever it just said that there were two episodes of the show on it. So I was like okay cool and I plug it in and it turns out that the jump drive is only like two gigs so it's pretty it's not that good but I think that's pretty cool it does come with two episodes it also came with this uh for your Emmy consideration Schitt's Creek season two and this actually comes with a DVD so it's got uh, some nice artwork on the inside um it came with a a thing that has like a code to use to watch the entire season two but the code expired last year so that's not going to do me too much good um and then we've got all that and then this very last one has the dvd in it and it's got two episodes on it uh moira's nudes and jazzagals so that is pretty cool. I would definitely, definitely recommend watching this show if you haven't. Um, I think I said it, but it is on Netflix, so definitely go and check that out. All right, so now on to the Blu-rays that I got this month. Uh, I, this is an upgrade to my collection. I ended up selling it. This is a Friday the 13th, the final chapter. So I had been keeping a hold of my Friday the 13th movies because... I know that there was the Friday the 13th set that they had, and I had really wanted to get that, but by the time that I even knew that it was a, a thing, uh, it had already been out of print, and it's now like 300 to $500 on eBay, and I'm just not about that life. Uh, that's a little too much for me to spend on that. But I believe that they've released, like, these single releases of the first four movies. And so I'm doing that. I'm taking that route. At least for the first four movies. Um, there are a bunch of special features on here. So that is pretty cool. I was a little afraid that I wouldn't be able to get any special features. But I did, and there's quite a few. So that's pretty cool. Now, this next one, I actually just got yesterday but this is idle hands it was for sale or it was like five dollars on amazon and i was like you know what i'm gonna get this because i'm pretty sure no i actually really enjoy this movie i haven't seen it in a long time but the basic premise is uh this guy he something happens and his hand uh like starts to do things on its own and he, I'm pretty sure he ends up cutting his hand off, and it's kind of, I mean, it kind of reminds me of the hand from the Adams Family, but evil. 
Uh, so then next up, this is a new addition. Well, a new, uh, brand new release. I got the Kino Lorber Studio Classics release of Rawhead Rex. And so this comes with a nice slip. I pre-ordered this on Amazon and ended up getting it. I so this has this artwork. Unfortunately, it didn't come in very good condition, and I didn't want to have to deal with sending it back and stuff. But like the the little clip thing right here uh, broke off, and so did the thing that actually like clicks to to uh, keep it shut. So I think really all I need is to get a, a new Blu-ray case for it. Um, here's the other artwork for the Rawhead Rex. And I think that's new artwork maybe? I don't know. It's kind of, uh, kind of weird. I don't know how they do it. Because I know um, Screen Factory does it to where they have the new artwork on the front and then the old artwork on the back. Um, it also comes with uh, a, this little booklet that says, I don't believe in the devil, Rawhead Rex, a folk horror. So it's just got some pictures and like a little, a little thing and some, like it's basically a little article thing. And then it also came with a thing that has like a bunch of the Kino Lorber movies in it. And then the slipcover, I was a little disappointed. I don't know how well you'll be able to tell. Oh, you'll be able to tell right there. That there's, it did come damaged. Uh, luckily, you can't really tell unless you look really close. And that was a little disappointing. But, I mean, I'm not sure what, what else I could have done. And then I also picked this up. This was one of the Halloween movies that they had. So this was in the Halloween section at Best Buy, and this is the Hills Have Eyes Unrated Collection. So this has a, both of the Hills Have Eyes remake movies in it, and these are upgrades to my collection. The weird thing, though, was whenever I like took the plastic wrap off, the movies were like individually wrapped and it almost looked like they were like returned or something so I don't know what that was about but I checked them over and they appear to be fine and it didn't come with any digital copies I don't think it was supposed to so I'm not worried plus I already have I had bought digital copies of both of these movies um, a while ago so I or several years ago actually so I'm not too worried about it but everything is good with that, and I am glad to have that in my collection. So this next one was one I also pre-ordered. I actually got an amazing deal on it. So I pre-ordered it at like $25 on Amazon, and at one point something happened, and Amazon dropped the price to $12, and I think it was $12, and like 97 cents or something. So I ended up getting this for $12 and 97 cents, which I was like extremely happy about. But this is Stephen King's Children of the Corn Arrow video release. And I got a crazy deal on this. I just can't believe it. Something that's kind of weird, which I don't know why, but there is a, just a random little hole there uh, that coincides with like this little area right there. So I'm not quite sure what this is. I do really like this artwork, and this is like a nice matte um, slipcover, so that's pretty cool. And then we have the original artwork of Children of the Corn. And on the, the reverse side is just this artwork right here. Um, we also have a Children of the Corn... Um, so right here, I think this is new artwork. So this is the new artwork for the movie. And then on the reverse side, we also have the old artwork, kind of poster size. I'm not sure what size this poster is. I don't think that 
think it's kind of a strange dimension. But it's still cool that we got a poster. And then there's also a a little booklet that comes with that just talks about the Children of the Corn. It's got cast and crew behind the rows. Praise God, praise the Lord, the influences of the child preacher and the reference to Child of the Corn. And then uh, a little section about the transfer. So I, that was pretty cool. I'm glad that I got got it. I'm also really glad that I got the the deal on it as well. So I guess that's a um, a little a little tip. I guess it could be to if there's something that you want and it's not coming out for a couple of months, pre-order it and uh, it might just drop in price considering and if it doesn't and you don't want to pay full price whenever it comes out just cancel it uh i've done that a couple times um but you never know and then so last but not least this is a actually really cool release i bought this the first day that it was out because i assumed that it was a limited edition thing but supposedly it's not uh, apparently people there are a lot of them out Whenever I went to the store, there was like none gone, and there was probably about a hundred just laying around. But this is the Target exclusive, limit not limited, but Stranger Things season one. And I am currently working my way through this. I never watched it when it first came out, and I started watching it recently. I did not finish before. The new season came out. I have two more episodes to go, but I definitely wanted to get this and definitely watch it. So this is the like exclusive Blu-ray packaging, and it's in VHS style. So right here is a regular Blu-ray, and right here is the thing, and it is larger than an actual VHS. But when you pull it out, it like legitly looks like a VHS, which is actually really cool. It's got a little sticker that says, please be kind and rewind. And then we also have, so like the sides even look like um, a VHS. The top does as well. We have the little Stranger Things, um, whatever, I don't know what these are even called. And then the back also looks like a VHS. So this is really cool packaging. And this is like a magnetic clasp. And you open it up. Uh, it did come with a poster, a limited edition poster. It is currently hanging up on my wall. So unfortunately, I'm not going to show you guys that. But it's the limited edition poster. And then it says, Friends Don't Lie. And then the other disc is actually in my DVD player. So sorry about that as well. If I would have realized, I would have grabbed it out. But we have the Blu-rays on the top. And keep watch of this little Netflix thing. I thought that it was a mistake. But I, I realized that it was done that way because it's part of the upside down. So right here, the Netflix is upside down. So that's pretty cool as well. And then right here, we have the tree and them coming out of it. So that is actually it for this DVD and Blu-ray update video. I hope you guys enjoyed. Thank you guys for watching. Let me know what you think about what I picked up. If there's anything you like, anything you don't like, anything you wish you could have gotten or anything like that. But I hope you guys enjoyed. Thank you guys for watching. Be prepared I for November. November is a Black Friday. So I'm probably going to get quite a bit of things so i look forward to making that video thank you guys for watching have a great day bye